guys and welcome back today for a brand new review. I have for you a lip swatch video. It's been a while since I've done a lip swatch and we have a new lip formula from ColourPop that I thought I would do a lip swatch video on. I'm going to share with you guys a bit about the formula. I've worn this and I'm going to show you like long wear time, everything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we are talking about the new blotted lip from ColourPop and you might be thinking like I was, wait a second, they already had a blotted lip. So this is a brand new matte blotted lip formula that is supposed to be reformulated and a new formula but a spin on their old blotted lips that they used to have. So I know personally like I was a pretty big fan of the blotted lip formula. It wasn't like my absolute favorite but I did like it. It definitely leaned more towards like a lip tint for me like a more liquid lipstick and a lip tint kind of combined and I actually really liked it. I thought it was nice on the lips. I thought it was long wearing and I liked the formula. So now they are kind of revamping that and they are calling this their new blotted lip formula. So I will read to you what they wrote on here. So it says the new blotted blotted lip is a sheer matte coverage for a beautiful blurred focus. It's an elevated formula that all of the beauty from the original blotted lip for the buildable coverage with new added ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, and raspberry seed oil for a super moisturizing matte that feels incredibly comfy. It's lightweight, long lasting, barely there coverage that seamlessly melts into the lips for long wear comfort. Okay, so to kind of talk about the formula a little bit in my experience, I have been wearing this now for quite a few hours and um, personally, I don't find it all too comfortable. I do think it's very drying on the lips. I know it's supposed to be a matte formula and definitely looks matte on the lips. Like as you can tell, it definitely looks matte, but there's a difference between like a comfortable matte in my opinion and one that is a little bit drying which is a lot of matte lipsticks. So for me, this is just a lot drying. And it also, I feel like isn't the most flattering lip because I just feel like it really does emphasize like all of my lines. So for me, I don't think it's like gonna be a go-to formula. I'm gonna share with you guys in a little bit the like wear time of this. You guys can see it after a few hours, kind of what it dried down to, but here is just a sheer layer of it. So I definitely get what they were saying where they're saying that it's gonna be like sheer and not, you know, a super opaque lip. I do think it does have like that barely there type of look to it, which I do think is nice. But when I heard the ingredients on this one, I kind of thought like, oh, it's gonna be really comfortable. Like the lips, you know, the shea oil and all that. I was like, it's gonna be comfortable, but I do feel like it is really drying. <laughs> so it's still, pretty drying and I do feel like I personally like the original blotted lips a little bit better. That being said, I know I'm just one person and I'm sure a lot of you will maybe like this formula. I just want to give you guys my thoughts on it. So packaging wise, they definitely changed up the packaging. So instead of being like a doe fit applicator, like their other blotted lip, this one is a um, lipstick bullet, kind of similar to their like cream lipsticks or they have their, uh, what are those called? I can't think of what they're called, but the cream lipsticks that come in this one. So that is kind of what the tube looks like. It does have like a triangular shape to it. And you do have the colors here on the side. The color that I'm wearing right now is on film. So this is kind of like an orangey nude shade. And then the lid is just a frosted lid and it does have like those little twinkles on it. So that is a look at the packaging. So packaging is definitely new. I do like this type of packaging. I like that you can just glide it on. Um, if you do want to like reapply it or something throughout the day, I do like that. They do have a little bit of a scent to them. It's almost like a spicy like vanilla, if that makes sense. It kind of has like a spicy scent to it, but also like a sugar cookie sweet type of smell as well. They are available right now on the ColourPop website. I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below. They do retail for $7 each. And with this collection, they also launched the matte palette. It's called the Gone Matte Palette. I actually have it on my eyes right now. And I didn't feel like I needed to do an entire review on this eyeshadow palette just because I do feel like it's a matte palette. I don't know that a ton of people are fully interested in this. So I didn't do a full review, but it is a very nice, very rich, matte palette. So if you are on the market for a matte palette, this might be something you're interested in. I am going to keep it because I, back in the day, I feel like I would have been like, no, I don't want a matte palette. Like I don't need it. But personally, I have been reaching for just like all matte looks lately. So I actually decided to keep this one. I love the packaging on it. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to link this down below as well. So if you're looking for like a staple matte, it is ColourPop's True Formula. So I did try it out. I can tell you guys it but it does work the same as the rest of their palettes, but I didn't think that you needed to see like a tutorial with it just because it is just like an all matte palette, but I will link this down below as well. And then let's go ahead and get into the lip swatches. The first color we do have is the On Film. That is the one you guys see on my lips right now. I would describe this as like a terracotta nude in my opinion. I'm gonna look and see if I can't get on the ColourPop website and give you guys their description of each of the shades. So this is described as a muted warm terracotta with a soft matte finish. So very similar to how I described it. So that is a look at the shade on film. Let me show you the next shade. 
Okay, the next shade I have right here and that I am wearing is the shade Otter. Otter is described as the most perfect blotted look in a muted pale rose shade. I would say that this is definitely pretty pale and it is still muted. So like I said, with these colors, you are getting like a barely there type of look. So there again is the shade Otter. The next shade I'm going to swatch here is called Super Mellow. This one is described as a soft, cool pinky nude with a soft matte finish. So I'm going to show you guys that shade here. I will say they are pretty easy to apply. I don't feel like you need like a lip liner or anything. Um, they're pretty easy to just like swipe on your lips. So there is the shade Super Mellow. Okay, the next shade, I hope I'm saying this right, it's called Las Feliz. I don't know if I'm saying that right, correct me if I'm wrong, but this one is described as a muted warm peach and I'm gonna go ahead and try that one out for you next. All right, you can definitely see the peachy tone with this one in particular. I like that color a lot. I think it's really cute. Next one is the shade Talker and it is just described as the most perfect blotted look in a soft rogue shade. So <laughs> that one doesn't really have much of a description here, but again, this one is the shade Talker. All right, and there is what Talker does look like on the lips. The shade Shook is up next and this one is described as the most perfect blotted look in a soft bright magenta. So I'm very curious to try this color and see how this one Looks on the lips, I think this is the brightest one out of all of these shades. Okay, definitely very muted, but I do still see the magenta in there. Okay, that one's kind of cool. I like the color of it. So again, this one is the shade Shook. Next we have Missing You. This is a muted, soft, warm strawberry. And I will show you guys this one here up next. Okay, so I can see where they said strawberry. It does kind of have that strawberry look to it. A little bit of a red, but definitely way muted, which is obviously a theme with these lipsticks. All right, and the very last shade is called Melty, and this is described as a warm chocolate shade. All right, and there is a look at that shade right there. I can definitely see the chocolate tones in this. I think it would be beautiful on like a deeper Skin tone, it's not my favorite color on myself, but I do think they did a good job with selecting the colors for this, that I do think they are pretty universal and will be flattering on a lot of different people. So that is a look at all eight of the lip colors. I'm gonna slide to the shot that I took of me with the lip color on for a few hours so you guys can get a uh, look at how it looks and how it wears and then I'll get into my final thoughts. All right, so I wanted to show you guys, like I said, a close up of how it looks after a few hours. So this is after two hours, you can tell it's like, really dry and cracking. It definitely feels very dry. It feels like I've been wearing it for hours. Um, like I just wanna keep licking my lips, which in turn makes them chapped. So I will say this isn't gonna be like a favorite formula for me personally, just because I do feel like it's not super comfortable. And I, I mean, I guess you can still see it, so I guess it is long wearing, but it's not gonna be something that I feel like looks very flattering when it has been out a long time. Like if I'm gonna look for a formula like this because of the cracking and because of it not really being nourishing, I feel like I'd rather reach for like a liquid lipstick. So personally, I just feel like this formula just isn't gonna be for me. Um, you guys can be the test of it yourself, but I I love a lot of other ColourPop lip formulas. So for me, I'm just like, this one just kind of misses the mark and it's just not really something I need personally in my collection. I would rather just reach for a liquid lipstick or if I do need that hydration, I'm gonna go for like a lip stain, like kind of like their old formula, the blotted lip. I prefer that a little bit over this one. So that is going to do it for this review. I do hope you guys enjoyed and you found it helpful. Hopefully this helped you decide kind of on this formula and what you think of it. I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye friends.